Congratulations to the class of 2014. You have completed 12 years of schooling and that was only the beginning. You're about to go into a totally different world and I'm talking something that is basically, that basically equates to the real world. Because I am recording this video so late, if you still have time and you don't have to get a job at an um, actual store, but just basically try to get some type of work experience. That could be working next to your aunt or your uncle or your dad or your mom. It doesn't matter who. Just try to get some type of work experience, whether that's a trade or actually working in some type of facility. The reason why I say that is because in addition to work experience, you gain time management skills. So having time management skills is very I mean, it's it's vital to the college experience. You have to schedule your classes. You have to schedule time to relax, time to sleep, time to uh, study, time to hang out with friends, and even time to eat. You have to schedule your time wisely. And I think getting the experience to summer before makes the transition a lot easier. So you kind of know how to schedule your time pretty well. Spend time with your family and friends. Now... This is so important for people that are going away, like hours away from home or their, you know, town or city because you may not come across your friends. I mean, it's harsh as it may sound or as heartbreaking as it may sound, but some people you may not see for another 30 years. There are people I've graduated with eight, no, four years ago. <laughs> I've had four years. Um, I'm about to graduate from college, but there are people that I have not since high school graduation, that was four years ago, and we live in the same city, so, I mean, even though we follow each other on Facebook, Instagram, I'm not actually physically seeing these people. You want to spend time with those that are important in your life, all the ones that you love and care for and associate yourself with. Go out to the beach, go out to eat, movies, do whatever with these people to create memories that you can later reflect back on and reminisce on because like I said you may go to school hours away from home and you may not see these people and those hours away from home mean you're going to spend weeks away from home so they did this every year for our school basically they meaning the students and what they did was create a Facebook like page for the incoming freshmen. Now, people, those students that were incoming freshmen created a page, or people that were already students at the um, college created a page for the incoming freshmen that people from all different years um, that were graduating in different years could like that page and join in into that group and share stories or information, um, sell textbooks. Um, you know, let you know which professor is great, which professor isn't. You know, just just share an overall sense of information to different people, and it's and it's great to get that because you you meet people from different backgrounds, different lifestyles, different whatever. So you meet a lot of people before you physically meet them on campus. Healthy eating habits. I'm not going to persuade people to make switch to eating healthy because I don't eat healthy or eat healthy food that I should. Um, but if you are deciding to go vegan or whatever, try to practice those eating habits now. Because once you get on to campus, you may experience the freshman 15. Now, I did not experience the freshman 15. I experienced the sophomore 20, <laughs> basically. I did not gain weight my freshman year. Probably because I was going to the gym almost every day in fear that I would gain weight. But my sophomore year, I kind of slacked off with going to the gym because things started to get a lot more hectic in my schedule. And I started to gain weight. So, if you are going to practice healthy eating, is do that now. That way you can identify those health, those same healthy uh, foods or vendors or stores or whatever on campus. And that will help you with your eating transition because let me tell you, you are basically going from having mom or whoever cook for you to an all you can eat buffet. 
start to narrow down your career options. Now, I'm saying this so quickly because junior year is going to come around so quick. It's, you go to high school with my quick junior year itself. It's going to come past so quickly. And you're going to realize, I have one more year of school. And I still don't know what I want to do with myself. And it's fine if you are in that predicament. A couple years ago, you know, that you still don't know what to do. I still don't know what I want to do. For right now, we need up to what I ultimately want to do. Combat those issues by this the career center once you get to campus and talking to professors to ask them their college experience. Like, how, what do they do in college or even after college that lead, led them up to becoming a professor or just working? An educational environment or just working period but now your choice is down to five and I say five because once you junior year come around you most likely will do the internship if you can have at least three narrow down to the end, that's great because now you have a more focused mindset as to what it is that you want to do and how you want to get but if you narrow down to five, you'll have some blueprint of what it is that you want to do. And within the first two years of school, you should narrow that down to three. You should give it to your classes. You want to find out what interests you, what doesn't. So you may change it on your career choices and even your major based off what it is that you want to do. Those are the five things. I hope this helps somebody out there.